Hi everyone, Jeremy here from Visitor Studio and today a quick video to share with you a free sample from our Paper Rip Transition Pack. So if you're ready, let's check it out. All right, so you can download that transition by clicking the link in the description below. You will get the zip file, just double click on it to unzip it. It will give you this folder and the folder you find a couple of things, the license, the installation instruction and the TRFX file. Double click on the TRFX file to start the installation process. And then here you can select install. Then once you're in DaVinci Resolve, you can go over to Effect, Video Transition, Video Just Studio, and then here you will find it under Sample. You have then here the Paper Rip Transition Sample. You can take it and drag it in between your clip. But as you can see right now, nothing is happening because we need to trim both clips in order to have enough space to the transition to be applied. So I'm gonna trim down that clip and then I'm gonna trim that the other one and bring them together. And now we can apply the transition. Now let's zoom in a little bit and let's play it to see if it works. As you can see, it's playing just fine, but we are dropping a few frames right there. If that's the case for you as well, you can go over to Playback, Render Cache, and then here select Smart. That's just gonna bring that bar that's gonna turn from red to blue. And when it's fully blue, that means that the transition has been fully cached in and that you'll be able to play it with real-time playback without any issue. Also, a quick note in case you're running into any trouble. Right now, it seems to have been fixed with DaVinci Resolve 19.2, but there was some issue with the transition sometimes. When they were applied, uh, you could get some weird bug or glitches. That was the case for native transition to Resolve and the third-party transition. There was just a quick fix, which was to simply extend or reduce the transition uh, just for the transition to be recached uh, and reanalyzed by Fusion and then the glitches were gone. So just a quick note in case you are encountering those problem with DaVinci Resolve 18 or DaVinci Resolve 19 or 19.1. But right now, as you can see, it seems to has been solved with DaVinci Resolve at 19.2. All right, so now a few details about the transition. You can, as I've just shown you, extend it or reduce it to whatever length that you want. Those changes are reflected right here in the inspector, as you can see, display in second and in frame. So you can also make those modification right there if you know exactly the amount of time you want it to be displayed on screen. At any moment, you can double click on any value to reset it to the default parameter. And then down here, we have a few more stuff that we can control to really get the look that we want. First off, we get a flip parameter. So here you can flip the transition to whatever direction you want. And if you want to have it coming from top to bottom or from bottom to top. So you can adjust those things right here with the flip. Then we can choose the paper style and the transition style. You get four different transition style you can choose from. We get this one with simply the rip edges. And then we get this one with the rip edges and the paper. Then we get this one with the paper and the rip edges, but like basically you don't have as much of a border. And then we have this one that got the texture of the paper plus the rip edges. But also you can choose the style of the paper. So for example, here we can switch from crinkle to yellowish and it will just give you different type of texture. The easiest way to see the texture of the paper is simply to go either to two or three right here. And then you can just browse like all the one available here in this drop down, and it will give you just very different style. There is one that are better suited for just the paper itself. And there are some that are just better suited for the texture. I really like this newspaper one, for example, this can be very useful uh, use on its own like that. And then lastly, we get the paper control. So that's where you can really adjust the edges right here. I'm just gonna go back to the first version. And now I'm gonna show you here, we can just increase or decrease the amount of that edge. So we can have it like being thinner or being just wider. We can also adjust the edge contrast. So that's just gonna play around with that edge. On this one that got some writing, it's creating some distortion, but it will just yield different results depending on the paper that you choose. Then we get the edge scale, which is pretty much the roughness of that edge. Uh, you can go above 20. And that will give you like, again, a different texture. So you can just push past uh, the limitation of the slider. You can go above that if you want. Then you get the edge this, which is basically uh, the randomness of the edge. So you can switch that if you're not satisfied with what you're getting. And then we get also the edge position, the edge intensity, which is gonna be like the overall intensity of that edge. Uh, you're gonna need to play around with those different parameter to really get to the result that you want, depending on here, the edge contrast, for example, if you increase the intensity, you're gonna need to decrease the contrast to be able to get like uh, that trip being properly and not 
like getting that weird, you know, kind of sandy effect. So that require a bit of playing around with the different slider to really get what you want. Then we have the softness of the shadow. So you can have like a solid shadow or you can have like a very soft one. Uh, and if you choose to have no shadow at all, you can just bring here the alpha channel down to zero and you will have no shadow being displayed. And that's pretty much it. Hope this transition will be helpful to you. If you like those kind of transition, we have a full pack available on our website. So if you want to check that out, it's at videostudio.com. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Speed up your workflow and create better videos using the pack available on our website, including titles, transition, and templates built only for DaVinci Resolve. Get started today by downloading our free starter pack that contains over 150 elements. Link in the description below or at videoeditorstudio.com.